So Natasha, tell me, first game here in this new year, 2023, how did it feel to get back out on the court and not seem to miss a beat, average, finishing with 15 and seven? Oh, look, we were all pretty excited to get back on the court. I feel like after a couple of losses, had a bit of a chip on our shoulder to come back and really prove what we can do. So we're all excited to come into the new year, show everyone what we can do, and hopefully we can keep it up further into the year. Now, coming off of a few losses, what changed in today's game to flip the script and get such a big win? Oh, I think today our energy was just unmatched. I think we all had a really good chemistry. Everyone was bringing it as, as best they could. So I think that really helped build our connection today. Now, basketball is a game of both offense and defense. And now that we're here in this post-game <laughs> interview, you finished with two steals and some tip passes as well. How do you feel about your performance on the defensive end of the court? Uh, I think as a team, we really emphasize defense. We know the defense wins games, so we try and emphasize that so then we can get to the scoring later on. <clears throat> I think personally, uh, it was nice to get a couple of steals. Everyone loves a few steals, but uh, as a team, everyone was helping out on, on the help side and tips and everything. So I think it was a good game for us defensively. Total of 15 steals for the Beavers today, Coach Brandt. What are your thoughts on the defensive energy that you saw out there from your girls? Uh, you got to give the young ladies credit on that. They came out fired up, ready to go uh, with pressure defense. And, you know, we're very capable of that. I think that's something that we play, you know, even though we have won a whole lot of games in the conference, that I think we play one of the top defenses. Uh, our intensity level of defense is really, you know, top quality in the conference. And they played hard. They played active, had their hands up, didn't foul much in the passing lanes. And, and this is probably our best help side defense of the year. And that's something that we've really been lacking on. And so many of those steals, I think we got from the post when they threw it to the post and we had a guard, you know, from the help side go in there and grab it. And so that's a great opportunity for us to get steals and with the help side and uh, just a good solid defensive effort tonight. And with such a large margin of victory, are you surprised at all coming off of that Christmas break that your girls were able to just get back out there with so much energy and not be like missing a beat at all? Not really. In fact, I was more surprised when we were on the road after Christmas break and we played and performed so poorly. I felt we had really good practice after Christmas break and probably the best practices that I've had in my many years of coaching. So I was kind of excited and fired up to go on that road trip, but we just kind of fell flat on that. So uh, we turned it around here, had a good week of practice and the energy level was here. And of course, everybody loves playing at home. There's the comfort level of playing at home and they worked hard together, played well. Our shooting percentage was much better than it has been in the past games. And you know, that's that's what you have to do. You have to put the ball in the hole and play good defense and rebound. And you have a chance to win games. Coach Brack, thank you so much. Thank you.